Hey guys, Freddy Oak here with episode 3 from Making an Adventure on Minecraft. This one I bring to you uh, the basic idea of my ice temple. Now I had no idea what to do, but here is what I've done. Let me step over here. We have the entrance through ice. I really love ice because you can see through it. It's just really cool. And there we have it. So this uses a lot of the pistons. As you can see, you have to time your jump. Oh, if you even hit the button. Really? I'm not even going to hit the button this time. So you just time your jumps. First couple are really easy. You have a few long jumps in here. And then it gets a little more complicated. If you don't drum, uh, jump fast enough, you will not make it. So that's, that's a challenging one. Yes, you'll take damage. Let me set this back today. Alright, and then you just keep... Well, I'm usually not this bad at jumping. And then you have a little bit harder of one here. Because it's on a bit of a delay. Anyway, and you just keep coming. Sticking to your right would be favorable. And then you get the funnest bit. As you can see, let me go up here so you can see. Pistons going out on timers. Now basically what this is, I believe I'm going to do, is you have to push this button to, to go at all. So you get to see a little bit more creative process here. Basically I want this button to matter so much that if you don't press it, you can't go. Plain and simple, I wonder if that's... Oh, that might kill me. Nope, okay. So you can take a fall all the way from the top if you're at full health. If even half a heart down, you're not going to survive. So, basically, you just have to look above you and take it easy. So I think that will work. Basically, I want it so when you push that button... It also comes over here. Do you know what? I might just put this in here, although it's going to be a bit low. I wonder if we'll be able to handle that. Okay, we can jump from here to here. We can jump from here to here. Yes, no problem. Alright. Basically, this having redstone on it, when you push it, no, it doesn't do it. It would have to be one lower, and that would make it a little too hard. So, we'll not do it that way. We'll see if we can do it this way. So, we'll put it up like this. Alright, so basically I want this to be a piston to where you can't get through. Unless, uh, the piston has moved. So, we basically want the piston... up here, although you could get through there. So we basically want like a double piston. Here? No, no, no. One higher. It's basically here and here. Right? No, there and here. There we go. Oh, no, that's where we actually want the piston, so let's make it up one more. And then we can come down over here get rid of those, and we want to put pistons here. So let's grab our pistons. We want to basically look up to get them in the right direction. We're going to put snow here. We want them to be on, and for you to actually have to push the button for it to not be on. So we'd have to do an inverter. Uh, basically, we want redstone here. Making this a little bit more tricky. We, oh, wow, lag. I, oh, I hate lag. Oh, okay. Basically, we want this here. I believe this will work if we have a torch here. 
That doesn't give power. Okay. So then we don't want to do that. Let's just put this back here. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Well, we're going to need this to come around then. But that's alright. So we'll put this like so, and we'll put a torch here. That might be a little difficult, but I guess we'll see. Oh boy. Just how it goes. I know, I know, I have an idea. But I wonder, boy, do I wonder. We need to take this off the circuit, and we really need to stop this for now. Let me take this out. No, that's not going to stop the clock. Take this out. That'll stop the clock. Alright. And we want this going here, which means... Technically, with this, it would always be down. want a button, say, here, that starts this, too, because it's just too close. We don't need this hooked up to this. Let me try this all over again. Okay. This is how this is. And nothing. Okay, so if this connects here, we need to not have power to it then. We need to have a power inverter going the other way. So, we basically need redstone here. And a torch here. set down. I guess that's just not going to work in that sense of it. That lights that up, but it's not hitting this, so we need to bring it all out another one. Fascinating, huh? Um, oh boy, okay, there, that one helps that, however, issue is, we need it to be a lever, not a button. Check it. Okay. I can get rid of that. We'll just have this here. Okay. So basically, you have to press the button in order to push the switch. Which then causes you to have the issue of, uh-oh, now what? I 
then you have to deal with that. So I have to get a sign. Uh, anyway, so I'll put a sign there. Anyway, so that's that's how that is going to go. That's the biggie. Um, and then once you come past all of this over here, as you can see, it's snowy, so you're essentially safe. And we can, uh, set that to snow. And anyway, you come out into this, uh, nice area. I'm not sure what I want to do here. I'm probably going to build something, and then this will be where your treasure is, and then I'll give you a shortcut down. Falling is always an idea, too, but probably not the greatest idea. Oh, I forgot. So I guess I'll show you what it does if you get knocked off. Oh, down you go. Which means you have to swim back around and try this all over again, which can get really annoying, especially if you're bad at jumping. And that's already activated, and once activating it, except for destroying it, <laughs> you cannot stop it. So, there you go, and at night, let's, uh, make it full pitch black out. You can't see. So this trial has to be done during the day. I mean, you can try doing it at night, but I think it would be a little crazy to even attempt that. You see? Because you can't really tell what's what. Anyway. But, look at the beautiful surroundings. So, I mean, it's really cool. Huh, longer episode than I was expecting, but I wanted to show you my ice temple, because I had, honestly, no idea what I was going to do with it. And now I've come up with an idea. Squids and wolfies giving me lag. So you can already see that there's a lot of redstone just based off of the fact you can you can see it. And you know that there's pistons because you can see it. Um, there will be a sign at the front giving you your roleplay and everything uh, and rules. And there will be a bed on the inside. Which, as a matter of fact, we can, we can do that right now. Uh, once you come in, the bed can be in its own little chamber over here. I mean, it's not like it really, <laughs> really matters. But, I mean, might as well, right? So... There we go. So it can have its own little entrance over here. you can come into it. And this will be where your bed's at for your checkpoint. Which in this one, you're definitely going to have a harder time if you're not amazing at jumping. And if rain comes in, or it gets dark. Oh, FYI. Ice, of course, slides on ice. Everything slides on ice. Oh, thunder. Let's come in here. And you do not want to break ice. Because if you break ice, it causes water, and water is extremely inconvenient. Alright, let's give you a bed. set the bed in the corner so you can have a little sleepy pie there and there you have it so there'll be a sign at the front um, your reward will be up there somewhere we'll see what it is I have no idea yet this is all gonna be blocked in but I guess so you can see what it looks like from up here Oh, the only thing about this, this is technically a five clock, really, when you think about it. Um, the only bad thing about this is it can break, giving you way too easy of a time. For example, see, because when you come out here, although it can break and you can have an impossibility if you can't even get up on here. You're like, now what do I do? Well, 
Now that's when you break that. And I will put that in the notes as well. See, then you can just hop around to where you need to be. As you can see, the last one doesn't even light up. And you're there. So it has the possibility of breaking, unfortunately. And I'd show you how to fix it, but there's not much of a point in it, honestly. Because, see, that doesn't fix it. Just see, then that won't go there, and you just have to, like, redo all of it. And even doing that, see, it still holds power, so for some reason, it glitches sometimes, and it sticks. There's nothing you can do. Um, so all I can say about that is, sorry guys, it does happen, and there's not much I can really do about it. Just so this is a little bit safer once you reach the top. Just pressing that doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, this is episode 3 of my Making an Adventure kind of series. I... This ice one is now about to be finished, and once it is, there's only two big temples left, and then the throne of the gods. So, this is almost complete, guys. It's almost a finished product. Uh, if you're looking forward to downloading it, uh, be sure to thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and, you know, leave a comment if you don't mind. That way I know who's, who's interested. I'll, of course, put a link up, even if only one person's interested, just because that's how nice a guy I am. Meanwhile, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.